and welcome back to What You Cooking Fast for. <laughs> uh, that was close. This is not for me. Oh, this is not for that me. That was your idea to start the show like that. <laughs> you know why? Because why? Today we are really excited to be coming back here to yeah. SSI, mm. and it's going to be another exciting round of Fantabulous Fast Forward recipes. I'm sure it is. So I'm just curious. Mm. Huh? Uh, what's today's recipe theme about? Oh, uh, you know, breakfast food is fast food, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it's plant-based. Actually, this whole show dedicated to our lovely producer, Sharina. Oh. She, vegetarian eater, right? Mm -hmm. Every week, she mm -hmm. watches the meat dishes roll out, and she can't eat it. So today, she can eat the whole buffet, the whole menu. She is going to be so happy. Yeah, and yeah. she always says that we're not fast enough. So today, I didn't even shave and come on down for you. So we have Whoa. fast forward into the set. But this, uh, you know, this show, I'm really excited because we have a really attractive fitness coach that will be coming right in to join us. Uh, do you know who she is? No. All right, I'm going to take the chance to introduce you. Okay. All right, this is one person that I really like because when she stands beside me, we see eye to eye. Oh, okay. <laughs> so right now, let's put our hands together and welcome our fitness coach. This is Mila Trangoso. Big applause, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hi guys. I, I, I mean, Hi, I tried to do the base trongo <laughs> sir. Yeah, you tried to. I'm not sure if I did the the you know name correct. So uh, tell us a little bit of yourself. Uh, firstly, introduce yourself to the cam. All right. At the same time, also step on in. Tell us a little bit about how long. I mean, you, you, you grew up in Singapore, right? I grew up in Singapore, yeah. I came, uh, I'm originally from Chile, uh, but I grew up in Singapore. I came here when I was little, very, very little. I was 10. So I came when I was little, pretty mm -hmm. much Singaporean. Um, not Singaporean enough sometimes, but I try. And uh, yeah, so I'm a fitness coach, like you mentioned. I teach uh, yoga, boxing, Ooh. hit box. Um, a lot of hit, a lot of jumping, a lot of squat jumps, which we'll get you to do later. Wow, I did Gotta burn it off. That almost we out. started plyometrically, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We started with, uh, we, we dedicated the opening. We've done you. the upper body, we've got to do the lower body now. Yeah, so yeah. we will cook and enjoy at the same time. But um, yeah. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what we have today because we're going to introduce the ingredients in the heart. So oh, what yeah. ingredients are we using today, Rico? Well, you know when you wake up, uh, phase two, mm -hmm. back to work, mm -hmm. busy day, Mm -hmm. Lots of clients stacked up, lots of classes online, right? So we need breakfast, healthy, quick, fast. This is um, this is porridge with a twist, right? Parched so with por a twist. Porridge? A porridge. Porridge. I thought it was a porridge. Porridge, porridge. with a twist. Porridge. <laughs> Mila's with me. Something's wrong I got with it, my ears today. You know, must be something wrong. See, that's I think now we're seeing eye to eye. Yeah. They, oh. I'm looking up to you, bro. <laughs> um, so, uh, acai. Uh, okay. Cherry, coconut, beautiful combination. But instead of using um, oats, we're going to use quinoa. Oh, quinoa. Yeah. Do you like quinoa? I love quinoa. Quinoa, quinoa is the best ever. Yeah. So I was just wondering with quinoa, is it a common choice of ingredient for fitness coaches or people in the fitness regime? You know? It is. It definitely is. It has a lot of good protein in it. So I am mainly plant-based, so quinoa is actually very, very crucial for my uh, meals throughout the week. So quinoa is a really, really good replacement for our most carbs, um, and it's got a lot of protein. So you also get your protein in the quinoa rather than your steak and your fish and your not dissing on it. Just okay. You know how you were like, I was like offering you a job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you lost the job. To her? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, I've been with you for so many episodes. But she's good. Yeah, she's good. I'm Quin not as funny. Yeah. Uh, I'm not funny. I'm the same height though. I'm good, always good. serious on this Sing show. I'm already there. Quin yeah. Quinoa is actually a seed, not a grain. So really high in protein. Oh. Yeah, a little less mm -hmm. carbohydrate than rice. So, you know, people out there, if you have diabetes, for example, you wouldn't just better manage your blood sugar levels. A lot of vitamin E as well, a lot of fiber. Wow. And this is, um, while, whilst it's a big substantial meal, this is actually very easy on the digestive yeah, system. It's as like well. a good replacement to uh, rice. Yeah. yeah. So we, that's why we're going to have some quinoa porridge today. And it's so easy to cook. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't believe him. Uh, it because. is. It's quite easy. It's I, very easy. I'll take you through it right Even now. Even I make it all the time. So she so. cooks. Do you cook often? I cook when I, I'm hungry. <laughs> Which is so all day, every easy. day. No problem. I know how to cook. Would you cook? Yeah. Uh, um, mm, 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 when I'm hungry. Circuit breaker. I do cook. I do. Yeah, yeah. Was I started cooking eh? a lot more during circuit yeah. breaker. Yeah. So I think a lot of people started cooking during circuit breaker. A yeah. lot of people started baking. Yes. I mean, there was no more flour out there. <laughs> you had to go I through know. like three supermarkets to yeah, find flour. I know, right? Yeah. So I like this episode already. See, they have 
white chocolate, dark chocolate, and <laughs> yeah. uh, milk chocolate chips. We have here. the three colours, the tricolor tri of uh, chocolate of chips, right? You can pretend they are. You, yep. Yeah. You can pretend you're anything. This is how we do it, Ben. <laughs> so easy. Chips, no? Yeah, they're very little, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. But they're, they're going to puff up. They're going to double in size. Yeah. Hmm? I, I really don't this know. This is half a cup of quinoa. Yeah. Quinoa is this color. Yeah. The quinoa, yeah, yeah, there's different types. Comes in three different yeah. colors. So here we are. Super oh. grain. Oh, yeah, super grain. <laughs> three colors. So you turn going. around. Uh, yeah. It's See. quite nice to listen to the sound of the quinoa. It's like rain on the roof, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Right. Okay, so half a cup, same, same way as we would cook rice. Mm -hmm. So one part quinoa, two parts water. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's a cup of water. So you just added half a cup of quinoa, one cup of water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the camera didn't see that though. I'm not the only Do one. You know, Nothing happened. No. When I was a young boy, I wasn't allowed to cook in the kitchen because I made too much of a mess. Really? Yeah. Aww. And now yeah, yeah. you are allowed so, in the kitchen so because both are. of us make a mess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're the, we're the I messy cook. I make a mess cook. too. Okay, I'm so going to bring the, so the sauces all, over. So all we would do um, is just let that cook. And so, Ben, you know, we've been, <laughs> we've been getting a bit scolded lately, right? I know, right? Because we're running a little bit slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I fast forwarded it a little bit okay. and I've cooked the quinoa already. All right, let's, well, yeah. let's, let's take a look at the yeah, quinoa. Let's bring the pot right up. Yeah. So this is how it looks like just after it's cooked. It's looks so it's doubled in size. It looks like it's it unraveled a little, a little fluffy bit. Now. It looks yeah. like it's sprouted a little. It, it looks a little bit like... Um, it goes fluffy. Fluffy. Bright cauliflower yeah. to me, you know? Yeah, it, it has that similar texture as well. Yeah, yeah. It has, it's nice and firm, a little bit crunchy. So yeah. how long does yeah. it take to actually cook it to this level? 15 minutes. Oh, that's a fast Yeah, one. it's very quick. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So just down to a simmer, keep the lid on. Keep the lid on after it's cooked as well, mm -hmm. and we'll just absorb all of that moisture, and it will go yeah. fluffy. All right, yeah. fantastic. All so right, so that's the that's the base of the porridge done. Okay. So quick. Cool. Now we have the sauces. Let's move over. Yeah. And then we have the sugar. Way back. Bit. We have. Is this chocolate coated nuts? What? Is it chocolate coated nuts? That's cacao coated nuts. Oh, it's cocoa. Co yeah. Co it's chocolate, right? Yeah. Yes. Singaporean man. I haven't tried around. them before, actually. They're, they're cashews. Yeah. You can try do you one. Wanna, do you want to try one? I don't know even. So much. Is it gonna be bitter? Just, just take it. <laughs> I wanted to just. <laughs> oh wow! Is it all right? Mm, super okay. good. So we're we're gonna do. Try, that's, try our, one. that's our garnish. It's really nice. We're gonna put that on. I, I was not expecting one, that. I was yeah. expecting the very bitter texture from cocoa, but yeah. no. Okay. Mm. I could have this throughout the show, but then we won't have it now, you know? That was, that's what happened to the last episode. All right, yeah. so it's, it's not going to be like a... I was imagine it to be a savoury-style kind of breakfast porridge, but look at what you're going to have right here. Eh, I'm getting confused. This is going to be a sweet... It's color, quite sweet. Spicy. Yeah, it's not too sweet, though. Mm -hmm. We're not going to add a lot of sugar to the, mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. the sauce, so it's going to be okay. The, um, the base of the sauce is going to be frozen fruit, my favourite fruit in the whole world, cherries. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So what's your favourite fruit? <laughs> Um, no, probably apples. Apples? I grew up with uh, a lot of apple trees, oh, so nice. we would climb the trees and just yeah. plug wow, the apple. Yeah, we didn't have that in Singapore. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. I grew so up in nature, so. Fantastic. That's so my return. Before here. Because we only have four more minutes on the clock, we got the yeah. time. Let's go, we're let's getting, go. We're getting started. And while we're doing it, we'll tell you about apple trees and yeah. stories. Okay. All right, so, so what I'm going to do next? So let's, let's, let's load this up. Let's, well, let's make our sauce. So, okay. uh, Mila, we want to go one cup of coconut milk. You can use low-fat milk, you could use soy milk. Wow. Yeah, you could use um, so any almond kind of milk. milk. Yeah, it's but coconut, because coconut and cherries and acai, oh, it all dances together. It's really yeah, nice. Okay, and okay. Uh, we can add our frozen fruit. All right, so for yours, it will be... Uh, it's frozen. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> That's not going to happen, obviously. Do we need to chisel that in there? Yes. Let's sculpt it. <laughs> yep. All of it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all let's all put them all in. I like it fruitier anyway. If it turns to ice cream, we'll just add a little bit of water. All right, so we can actually to, put it down. All right, so this is yeah. like Patrick said thing. Uh, oh, we yeah, want to really add cold. some acai berries. Acai oh, berries. Yeah. Yes. Oh, your favorite? Straight out of... I love acai the berries. refrigerator. Straight out of... Um, <laughs> and it's organic Brazil. somehow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, from Brazil. Traditional Brazilian breakfast, actually. Okay, so... So South American this? theme. How yeah, mm. about that? Yeah. American breakfast style. Yeah. So, what's the brown sauce over there? I'm, I'm just curious. The it brown sauce. Oh, that's it looks saute sauce. That's um, almond butter. <laughs> yeah, it look, I was about to say it looks like yeah, butter yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. Almond butter, yeah. <laughs> oh, you also can butter. put saute sauce if you want. Sauce but sauce. to yours. Do you yeah, want it to be saute? Uh, it might be a little bit more savory. We've got two minutes. 
we better um what's this so this that's is the asahi this, berry. This, this, asahi is, this is asahi, what he's been yeah. talking about asahi yeah <laughs> you know the one the I was south, Ameri- hoping the south american, american one fruit. Mm. yeah i was hoping it was about chocolate ma there we go no it does right. look a bit chocolatey it's, it's really but it's not line, yeah it is that's why. we should put some um we should put some almond butter in there the almond butter is actually homemade or purchased how much no. do you want uh let's i'm um, i love almond butter so let's have two two, two? two teaspoons i agree you like that? I love yeah. it. You're What's actually almond butter good for? Because I, I put it in my smoothies as well. But yeah, it's full of unsaturated plant fats. Yeah, oh. fatty acids, really so good. It's protein, also a good source of protein, yes. And lots of flavor as well. Mm. Fiber, yeah. Really All right. Good. Yeah. And what else cool. do we have? Uh, we oh, well, want to put in a little pinch so. of salt. Oh? So yeah. it's really going to be a little bit of sweet and Yeah, a little bit salty. of sweet and a little bit of salty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, and we want to go a little, just a little bit of honey. Okay. Little From bit of honey. Bee. This feels like a like a breakfast dessert. To there me, you go. Know? Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna like it. And well, I think, I'm, I'm a I big think that's all we need to so. do. We need to put a lid on it. Okay. And then we're gonna blend it. And let's see. Come over. So I don't like to do much work. So after you. All right. Step over. I'll do it. A bit scary. How long do we blend it for? About 15 seconds. Okay, about there. About now? Yeah, stop. Uh, so it's going to be yeah. like a little puree. I think it needs a little shake. Okay, please yeah. do a little uh, <laughs> cocktail <laughs> shake. I bet you the other episodes, nothing was shaken. We did. Yeah, I so did we it. always shake. We do. It's a, it's a custom on yeah. the show. All right. So I really... So there's least. a light shake to, yeah. to blend, to mix the blend. It, look, it does look a little bit there like... There oh, Wow, she actually looks like a... Yeah. Bartender. Cool. In another life, I was. Let's, let's <laughs> give it another little punch. Okay. I don't know how else to shake. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. All right. There you go. That's a really nice texture, actually. It's not too oh, ice thanks. creamy. Yeah, it I looks tried creamy. Yeah. Uh, if, if there's too little liquid, it might just become like an ice cream or sorbet, yeah. right? Oh, Whoa. look, it's smoking. Oh, it, looks like a, oh, it smells like it smells chocolatey. Yeah, mm. acai is really lovely and rich, and I love the color. All right, so mm. so this is where it gets interesting because we're going to contrast temperatures. Firstly, we have All the right. warm quinoa porridge. Wow, look at that whole pot of quinoa. Lovely, amazing. So not too heavy on the carbs. All right, we're going to give it a little shake of cinnamon. Mm. Right. I love anything with cinnamon. Oh, you really like? I love cinnamon. I, I mean, I like the flavor and the fragrance behind cinnamon, but not too much. I find it a little bit overpowering sometimes. Yeah. So quinoa, traditionally a savory food, we're starting to change it now. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, so do uh, that's all. This looks very simple. Just blend. Yeah. Now basically. Very easy. Very you quick. You blend and mix. That's you, it. You get to personalize it. Are you a breakfast person, Mila? I can have breakfast. I'm that person that gets breakfast for dinner. <laughs> like all day breakfast. All oh, right. So, oh yeah. As I long love as you breakfast. Feel like it, right? I know, right? I yeah. I have breakfast like three times a day. Okay, here's your one, Mila. Great. All right. So now you can decorate it. We have some uh, coconut chips. Mm-hmm. We have some coconut powder. So we're getting right. a contrast again mm-hmm. in texture. And our cacao coated cashews. You just put a little bit of that on top. You better get in first because Ben's quite yeah, heavy handed. Yeah, I, I will. I'm just waiting for that I'm shot to happen. Watch you yeah. Plate up your bowl of quinoa. Come on, let's go. All right. Do you want a spoon? I will right. be sophisticated. I will use my hands after washing. <laughs> no, no, actually, I don't even need to use my hands. Oh, this is so pretty. I could just... just yeah, just the colors really Look bounce, don't they? It's so pretty. I want to do yours. Can I do yours? Sure. Look at that. The coconut powder. It's so pretty. Is the icing sugar? Oh, it's the, it it's, like the, it's so sugar, pretty. It? Yeah, it does. It all right, you can have that over. Is it, is no, that, decorate your coconut normal. chips. I mean, yeah, these are the coconut chips. Oh, such a pro. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, look at all the coconut oh, chips. Oh, yeah, look at Ben. It's raining. <laughs> it's raining ingredients. As always. <laughs> oh, you actually went. I think mine looks nice. This is Rico going in, and then this is where I need the band cam, right? Because I really want to see Rico in his intricate action, plating up almost this the is so, like, style. Such a pro. Yeah. I cook so many things, but I never make them look pretty. I always eat with my eyes. Can you imagine how pretty mine looks like? This is all natural. <laughs> this is actually the... What's the breakfast name called? I forgot. This is oh, a acai, cherry and coconut, quinoa porridge. 
Ah. Mm. All right. So look at how amazing it is. This is the version by Mila, our guest for today, our fitness coach in the house. We'll oh tell gosh. You more about. Should have put a little bit more effort on my presentation. Very nice. I'm gonna eat yours. Uh, you, you is this your one? Yeah, I'll eat this yeah. one. Yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> I got the short and you get the nicest one for today. Okay, I'm yeah, gonna try. This beans. one looks really professionally done. Cheers, yes, guys. Yeah. Cheers. I'm looking forward. Quinoa. I'm gonna get a big chunk of everything. Mmm. Mm. It's really oh. good. It's not too sweet, is it? No. Mm. And we got some crunch. It's and like some just nice. Oh, those almonds are good. And it and it shouldn't take that long, actually, right? It's a big it should take about favorite. five minutes. Yeah. Five minutes we all together. That's amazing. Five. Yeah. Mmm. Great. Wow, I'm just dicing and eating over here. Oh, it's almost chocolatey. Yeah, it's very yeah. chocolatey. So, yeah, while we're okay. here, we're getting the thank you for joining us. We're, yeah, we're on that time. We will be back right after the commercial break with uh, What You Cooking? Fast more. Welcome back to What You're Cooking Fast Forward. <sighs> oh, wow. So we just had like a 10 minutes yoga session with Mila over here. How are you feeling, Rico? I'm feeling good, man. Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah. Ready to cook? Oh, yeah. All right. And uh, we just had quinoa for the very first recipe. How do you feel about it? It was delicious. I loved it. It was just the right heavy heaviness. It's not even like fillingness. Fillingness, yeah. is that a word? Yeah, it's filling. Filling? Yeah, yeah it's a word. <laughs> it is actually quite filling and it's uh, sweet, so uh, it's perfect for me. Yeah, and always yeah. with your breakfast, I really like it because it's always like a dessert packed with the 
Yeah. Bang! But all natural and full of flavor. Yeah. And you enjoyed it, which is really important. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, so we're going to move on into the next dish. We have some peri peri sauce, which means uh, this is going to be a dish that's a little bit spicy. So is this a lunch, dinner, breakfast dish or what? Oh, ye yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. and yes. Yeah. All, all day, day all day burrito. <laughs> all day yeah. breakfast yeah. again. It's breakfast, it's brunch, all day it's breakfast. lunch, it's dinner in a hurry. Wow. It's supper before bed. It's full of flavor. We had a cool start uh -huh. to the day. So now we're going to bring wow. in some heat mm. and some protein. So he's been listening to you over the yoga session that we just had. Yeah. You really, like to eat yeah. breakfast all day, every day, every day. All day, every day. day. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's talk about ingredients. Let's put uh, Mila to the test. Ah, okay. Since you cook breakfast, right? Mm. Tell me, what? What this is <laughs> this? Huh? What is this? This Australia. are your eggs. It's oh a God. rubber ball, and if you throw <laughs> one at Ben, and no, I don't want. Happen. Okay, move on. Have <laughs> something about it. Okay, now next one. What is this one? Butter. Cheese. cheese. Love, love what cheese. What kind of cheese? Aged cheddar, maybe. Yes, mature cheddar. Very mature good. Mature oh, Wow. I. <laughs> <laughs> He's been, I've never <laughs> seen that happen before. Ben lost his Speechless. words. Speechless. No, like, I love cheese. I I cheese. What? And what's this? Who? Um, coriander? Mm -hmm. Coriander? Coriander, yeah. Alright, I thought you might say flat parsley, but well done. This one? Uh, spring onions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oranges? Oranges, obviously. Okay. Yeah. Because why would you, you add your oranges to your burrito? <laughs> Alright, <laughs> tomato? Avocado! I love avocado. I love avocado. Yeah. Love avocado. Sort of, Do you? Uh, love, yeah. love, 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 love. Great. I eat it for breakfast. We'll put you on the time. avocado. Yeah. yeah. I love it. <laughs> and this is. Lime. It's a lime. It's a lime. Yep. To stop the avocado going brown. What's this? What? Beans? Yeah, that's a South American staple yeah. right there. Black beans. Black beans. Black beans. Oh, yeah. Black beans. Full of fiber, protein. You can't have a burrito digesting. without beans. Wow. Yeah, can I try red beans? Super on the food. Burrito? Do you know that there's. Um, chemicals in here similar to a blueberry that helps people live a very long time so oh. eat black ah. beans yeah. also if i eat a lot of black beans and blueberry i will live longer yeah. do you want to live longer i want to live forever <laughs> <laughs> all right so all um, right. we are in it with the ingredients uh i really wonder how to live longer live better like, i think that's what you want to live better not longer yeah yeah so tell us what we're going to do first up uh, okay Mila. first thing we want to do is just prepare our tomatoes okay right season them and then they just absorb the salt and the flavors um and then we can move on to cooking so we're going to slice it yeah so let's All slice right. up some tomatoes the burritos <laughs> do i need to heat them up um yeah we want them warmed up ben please yeah so now? maybe just like 30 seconds on each okay. side let's work fine. together as a team and yeah do you do that on the pan yes i'm going to hmm. try to throw it you, onto the pan you Ready? can do it in an oven you can do it in a microwave. How are we slicing them? Just just uh, however you like, actually. I love mm -hmm. I love r rustic style. Put everything in, uh, for Yeah, and what we're going to do is just um, cut some coriander up, sprinkle that on top. Um, how how many does this serve, actually? Well, how many? We've got four breads there, and okay. there's three of us, so we better make one for Sharina. Yeah, yep. Sharina. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. There we go. I'm getting scared when you point a knife at me, Sharina. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Sharina. Lovely. Thanks, um, Mila. That looks great. You know, when I toast the burritos, am I supposed to see like a changing color? No, we just want them warm. We don't want them hard oh, and crispy. Okay. Because if we folded them up cold, they'll probably split. Right, so but when they're warm... Nice and fluffy. Yeah, that's nice. Fluffy word of the day. Nice and pliable, nice and flexible like you during the yoga session. Yeah, yeah a little right. bit of salt. <laughs> So, you know, how's it like with training your, 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 your you know, Coriander. students now in, in yoga or any other fitness regimes? Um, well, now that we are in phase two and we are open, mm -hmm. um, I'm seeing my clients back at the studio, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And like in person, um, they can't slack and suddenly disappear off cam, <laughs> which some people do. So it actually it's more challenging when you teach it online because people do give up easier, right? The push yes, it's a bit, you have to push harder when you're teaching uh, virtual for sure. Um, it's, there's a lot of, you know, oh, the internet froze and then we <laughs> stay. <Yeah. laughs> people find ways. You know, okay, I, I, I have a requirement to lose 4 kg in about 9 days. Is there nine any, days. anything that you can recommend me That's to quite quick, Ben. Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. the that hurry? That is very quick. Uh, Getting married? Filming, have a date? No, going to a wedding? I don't want to look too fat on camera. Oh. <laughs> but you're on camera. I, I mean, I look. 
<laughs> upsized. I don't want to look as upsized in uh, the dramas that I'm going to be involved in. So mm. uh, I was just wondering if there's anything that I can do. Uh, first of all, I'd suggest going plant-based. Okay. So um, less on meat and oil, oily stuff. Less on, uh, yeah, your red meats especially because uh, they are quite inflammatory. So oh, your body is after. kind of swollen inside as well. I've been, have a lot, I've been having a lot of red meat recently and I felt like I just had this big buffed up kind of feeling. I yeah, feel so bloated. Balance yeah, you were just bloated. Balance That's what I tell myself. Mm. I'm just bloated today. Balance, balance. Yeah, so, so. I, I had a lot of uh, beef and red meat recently. A lot yeah. of A5 wagyu and stuff. Definitely balance, but if you are rushing to it, um, yeah, plant-based is exercise the wise, healthiest cardio, and easiest like, way. Exercises that will help burn up a little bit faster? Um, it depends. Once again, everyone responds to exercise differently. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, cardio for me doesn't do anything other than frustrate me. Mm -hmm. So we have the avocado over here. Yeah. So we've so got the avocado ready. Avocado? So I've just um, cut those down the middle, taken the stone out, scooped the avocado, and then what we can do... Do we mash it? We might um, oh, ask we Mila it. to help us with this. Yeah. And then remember the trick, Ben. Yes, roll it. Roll it, right. Mm -hmm. Soften it. Ooh. Ooh. Where's the... Ooh, the salt is on the table. <laughs> no worries. Hey, see. Rico is starting to be Mom, like me. Sorry. Yeah. Rico is starting to be like me. Messi. Yeah, right. welcome. And then you just want to squeeze a little bit of lime to avoid over that. oxidizing. Yeah. Right? And now you can take out. And just make a bigger yeah. mess. <laughs> oh, so you slice it on, on the table anyway. It's just that you okay. wanted to drizzle the lime over yeah. it. So you brought it oh. back in. And then you can just push it if you want. And then it just it looks beautiful. goes like that. Yeah. And then you can just pick that up with the with a knife. With a knife. You want a spoon? Can I give you a fork? And you can just put that on there. Can I give you a small butter knife? Okay. Just like that. This new location is just cute, man. We just had yeah. a guest that came. Yeah. You know, Auntie Dolly. Yes. We started to try to eat food with a mask on. Oh, lovely. And now we have the Rico that makes a mess. Oh, the yeah. It all happens. <laughs> it doesn't matter, does it? We're having fun. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all about, you know, having a good time in the kitchen, right? Making yeah. sure that everything's fast to cook, ready to, uh, to be on the table. Yeah. Uh, have it fast work style, but yet having fun at the same time. So thank you. Lovely. Nina. Very nicely sliced. Actually, she's really good with the knife skills. Yeah, nice. Yeah. That's, that's why people are scared of right, me with so knives. I already toasted the... Uh, good. So they're ready to roll. The next the, step the is to put our eggs on. All right. So I'm going to put the burritos over here. Also, we're going to do chum, fried chum, egg. Chum. Yeah, we're going to do a lovely little scrambled egg with this. Mm. All right. And then we can just build our burritos. So, Craig, how many eggs over? Yeah, let's do, do uh, one, let's do four. Okay, so just yeah, crack No, over. just crack them in whole. I'll show you how I like to do it. <laughs> this is the messy show. Okay, show me how it's done first, since we've got plenty of eggs to um, crack. A, okay, so. And then they just split in the middle. Bah! Oh, wow. He made, it, he made it look so beautiful. Yeah, he always make it look so simple. So pro. I'm a bit scared, guys. But I can't do worse than Ben, right? No, nothing right. Setting uh, myself up for failure. Nothing bad can happen. Yeah. We did. Whoa! Oh, it didn't break. Oh, you are natural. Oh, we can't fake even. Fake, fake, fake. <laughs> Don't really COVID, mean, COVID. I will show you one more time. Since okay. I got one more okay. try. Do it, do it. Lovely. Must have challenger, then got feeling. Huh? So good. All right, so okay, yeah. now we have all the eggs in. Lovely. Right, and we want to put a little bit of cheese in. Do we grate it? Um, I like to in? just um, kind of oh. put, little, put little knobs of cheese in there. That's interesting. Yeah, and that'll melt a little and it'll stay a little chunky. So you get some little, um, you know, cheese bombs going on. Wow. All right, so if you don't have a grater, you yeah. can usually do it how... Like this is really it. cool. Yeah. All right, now we just break those yolks up and give it a little mix. And what we want to do is just kind of drag it into the middle. So we kind of wind up making ribbons with the eggs. So usually when people scramble eggs, you know, they go really dry and overcooked. We don't want to do that. And you can see we're making these beautiful ribbons with Smelling the Smelling it already. Oh, it smells really nice. Yeah. I, I, I kind of just want to eat it like that now. This is so Can good. You try? Eh, <laughs> but I would have imagined scrambled egg to be totally. Hang off the spoon, Ben. Totally yellow, right? I'm gonna. This is more like a. Is this a scrambled egg? 
Uh, you're supposed to keep going. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. We don't have a cookie, Do though. Whoop. Do I need to mash it up then? Let me just. Or do I just keep flipping? Yeah, that's almost done actually. Oh. Yeah, I'm we sure can probably take that off the heat right now. Mm. It looks really nice. It smells really, yeah. really, really good. Because if it's it dry in the great. pan, it's going to be dry in your mouth, and we don't want that. We want it nice and silky. Yeah, so it's really yeah. juicy with olive oil. So how fast was that, right? Uh, very, that very like fast. Two minutes, man. Yeah, done. Mm. With our uh, egg cracking challenge. Yeah. Heck yeah. So now pretty we can just pretty, pretty proud of that. Yeah, your first one hand egg crack. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> After the first time you threw it, I got scared, bro. After oh, that tea towel whip. This looks like a nice breakfast. Okay, I, I can see an all day meal over here. Yeah, so you can do this at the. At I, the I can have this. Uh, I mean, I, I would do have this at this the table with the family. Yeah. Mm, because when I come home late from work, you know, this is going to be something that oh, yeah. is going to be easy to digest. I mean, I how, used to time to grill just one piece of steak to eat. How quick was it, right? Yeah. Because that's fast, right? You that's the worst the thing you can do. And then you just, just pump yourself up with red meat before you sleep. Yeah. Oh, don't sl don't eat and then sleep. That's the worst thing you can do. Oh. If you want to gain weight, eat and sleep. Yeah. See? That's what we go. <laughs> eat and sleep. Cause eat and sleep. sleep. Doctor, right? There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I really like eating and I really like sleeping. This is how we go so does things fast forward. Yeah. Yeah. And then we want a little avocado on there. A oh, little? More avocado, please. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I used to not really like avocado when I was younger, but really? when I grew older, I realized that the flavor behind it, the taste, I saw all of you should give it a try. And so if you really don't like avocado, uh, have it plain with a little bit of uh, honey, a small bit of lime. It's fantastic. Just simple. Honey? Nice. Honey and avocado? Yeah, it goes really good. Unless it's a juice, I feel yeah, like. Have you tried it before? Like honey avo avocado? juice with honey, yes. Black but beans? only juice. Oh, really? You should try it on the breakfast toast. Avocado and just drizzle honey. Honey. And then you just have it. Interesting. Like mm. I, I can't say I've tried that combination before. Really? Yeah. Oh. It's like it salty, like sweet. Taste, yeah. But try it. All right. Easy and very nice. Put mm. scrambled egg. Oh, that's a very nice. So nice. Uh, I want more yolk. Yeah. You like the yolk so good for I you. Mean, Don't throw I the yolk out. I cannot imagine scrambled egg to be totally yellow and... Right. Whisker. That's like the pre-made scrambled. Yeah, this is that rustic. You get. Yeah, this is like. So as long as you cook it in this style, it's called scrambled egg. Yeah. Yeah. I, I call it a broken. Side this is what egg. my scrambled looked like. Is it? This, I, I've I been cooking right the whole way. <laughs> All along. Oh, oh, very pretty. Uh, Chili sauce. Yes, please. Chili sauce. A yes. little, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's bring it to the cam and uh, okay. have a drizzle. Have a drizzle. I'm gonna give you the yes. close up drizzle. Woo! How do you fold up, burrito? Like half and half. Yeah, follow, follow along, Ben. Follow the South American. What are you doing? You're gonna drop everything. So this one first. You gotta, yeah, you gotta close the butt. Okay. Or the bum. The bum. <laughs> and then you okay. close it up. So yeah, and then you just close it up. Okay. And then so when you pick it up, it doesn't fall from the bottom. Oh, it's like a pocket. Oh, this is like a pocket style burrito. Ooh. It's like how real I burritos. Thought it, I need to close it like a Chinese book, yeah, no? You Not can. necessarily. Yeah, but you can have them closed. Yeah. Can't you? But. Then it looks this like one, that. This one's Look open. How nice it is. It's nice. You see what you're gonna eat. All right. So let's yeah. have a quick dive. Quick the dive into style. this. All day. Oh. Uh, Don't eat it into your mic. As Good I call. almost did. That was close. That was very close. This is really good. Mm -hmm. So simple and so good. Wow. I was gonna say, no meat. No go. Oh, Whoa. it's not the case, is it? Yeah, I like it. So we actually have an amazing dish right over here, mm. an all-day breakfast style burrito that you can try in the comfort of your home. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, what's the name of this dish? This is a breakfast, breakfast burrito. burrito. Yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Just a breakfast burrito. You can add more or less things that you and want. All you day. Can add anything. Breakfast burrito. Most importantly, all day. So we will be back with recipe number three. So stay tuned right here with us. Yeah.
And we're back on what you cooking fast forward. So we like this episode with fast forward because we always bring on a super fast bonus dish. Mm. Less than about a couple of minutes of a time, boom, yeah. you're ready to go. Yeah. So uh, Rico, what do we have for the final recipe for today? I just wanted to make you guys a cup of coffee. Mm. And yeah. Nina, are you a coffee lover? I am a coffee lover, like. Like to the max. Yeah, we are all coffee lovers. Me and Rico, we always have our coffee on set. But she said that while she looked at the ice cream. I also did. <laughs> I, I, I love ice cream too. Uh, I'm, I'm a massive sweet tooth, so uh, I mean, yeah, and ice you know, cream all day. The Italians do put the two together. Yeah. It's called yes. affogato, which in Italian means drowned. You can literally drown ice cream in a little espresso coffee. Uh, it's a really decadent little treat after dinner. Um, you could probably have a... A a breakfast, small, I suspect. Yeah, yeah, I can have it. Breakfast yeah, yeah. With I, the, uh, let, let me. Um, quinoa, you know. Let me pour you guys some. All right. So, so what we actually have in the so pot over here is so coffee, right? Yeah. So I've just, in my little cafetera, I've just made a little pot of coffee. Oh, cafetera. Cafetera, so yeah. Hot, hot and steaming. Is so what is it called a cafeteria. Ca cafetera. Oh <laughs> yeah. Ben. Cafetera. So You're so worldly. It's a little bit of ice cream. Localize the name, you know. <laughs> And, and, and any kind of coffee? Actually, like three in one, or the, is that like a specific that it's a little bit It's nicer with here. espresso coffee, like if you got an espresso at home espresso. or something like that. Yeah. yeah, but you can use just like instant coffee if you want. Like there's no rules really. So, all right, yeah. just any kind of coffee. Yeah. Have it um, heated up over the pan. And it's portion control. I haven't actually used a lot of ice cream, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we just drown it. Wow. And it will just melt uh, down. You know, a cup like this. That looks gorgeous. Probably cost you like 10 bucks in a cafe. Yeah. And we can actually just enjoy this and we know that the smallest cup is definitely mine. No? <laughs> How did you know that? I mean, I've been with Rico so much. I always prepare extremely small serving for me. You know, seafood <laughs> without shell or without, without meat. You're uh, getting to know me now. Oh, man. Hey. And then eggs over the floor after they lunch on wow. me. Wow. Uh, like the smallest serving. There we go. So suddenly I feel like playing the set. Music. <laughs> and I give you the little spoon, Ben. It's all about portion control, isn't it? So if yeah. you eat something with a teaspoon, it takes you longer to eat, and then you get, uh, you know, it takes you longer to get full. So yeah. <laughs> so what kind of a cup size will be dependent on what kind of an up size you are, right? Yeah. So the, 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 the cuter you are, the smaller your cup. The taller you are, the bigger your cup. Oh. Right? And if you're really fit, he just called you not cute. Right. I'm, a, so, I'm a brave rabbit. Hey, is this like a family size cup? It's so cute. They have that little cute little images yeah. over here. 
All so right. there, so affogato. Enjoy. Really simple. One scoop of ice cream. You copy Ooh. right in. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. It's been a fun, Ooh. fun episode. Wow. It's been fun. It's been a messy one. It's been a messy oh. one for sure. I haven't had this for a long time. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You just gone back to. So good. Now, um, so right. you know, just wondering, you know, um, when it comes to training, mm -hmm. is there any tips that you want to share with the viewers over here? Uh, especially before they set right out because we have, we have loads of people who are training on their own at home. Mm -hmm. Many of them have yeah. not been training for a, couple, a period of time and now they're stepping out there. What are some of the risks and what are some of the tips that you want to share with them? Um, I think the main tip if you are working out or starting to or continuing your training, wherever you're at in your training, it's uh, consistency. Really consistency makes a difference. If you only work out once a week, um, you know, okay, it's great you're keeping active, but if you want to see results, if you're working towards your specific goal, be it strength or endurance or weight loss, you know, or overall fitness and health, just consistency is key. Always good to push yourself, but uh, you really need to listen to what your body needs. If it needs rest, you'll also get um, sharp pains. Any sharp pains Ooh. is a very, very, very tell sign that you should Especially stop the chest, whatever you're doing. The muscle area. Um, Muscle aching is normal. Like the burning, burning. <laughs> muscle aching and muscle burning is normal. Um, oh. But any sharp pains, um, especially in the joints. So that's what you want to look oh, for. Your muscles are generally going to hurt if you're, if you're training or, or training quite a bit. So, well, for those of you who are interested to look at what uh, Mila does on a day-to-day -day routine, I'm just going to give you a quick look into some of uh, you know poses at work. And this is how it looks like. Let's go. And there you have it. If you are curious to find out more about how you can keep fit uh, or sleep well, or, you know, some of the fantabulous dishes right here. Once again, cheers to all our viewers in the house. Thank you for joining us on this cheers, episode of guys. What You're Cooking. Fast forward. Cheers. Stay tuned with cheers. us for the next episode to come.